Parkinson's from one to physiotherapy and osteopathy. So we also offer a running gait analysis as part of our run fit assessment. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a great deal of evidence to support gait retraining for performance improvement or injury prevention. However, we know that research is often behind what we see clinically and we would still use and assess your running gait um, as part of our programme. So it's very simple to, to do. We would just need a bit of footage of you running from behind and from the side. We would then analyse that in slow motion. So the UK Athletics do promote a particular running style. So that is with a nice upright posture, relaxed shoulders and efficient arm swing. And they suggest that your foot strike should be just in front or underneath your base of support with a near vertical shin. And there shouldn't be too much or any lateral movement in your trunk, particularly around your pelvis. Now, once we've analyzed your gait, then we can look into correcting these, any of these problems that we find. Now, there is, some, there is a trend recently for people to try and change their running gait from a heel strike to a forefoot strike. Now, it's important to uh, remember that about 90% of people running at an endurance speed are naturally heel strikers, and there's no performance benefit and there's no injury prevention benefit from changing to a forefoot strike. Both will have their uh, individual injury patterns. So for example, heel strikers might uh, develop medial tibial stress syndrome or, or knee problems, for example, but if you change to a forefoot strike, you're much more likely to overload your calf and your Achilles complex. So when we analyze your gait, we're looking at the things that we've just mentioned, and then we can, we can make some very simple changes to your gait pattern. So something that people typically do is overstride. Now this will cause your foot strike to be in front of your center of mass, and that can lead to certain injuries. And just simply reducing your step rate or increasing your cadence is a very easy way to correct this. And then also when we're looking at you from behind, what we see is a hip drop and the, the knee dropping in. We'll also see a, quite a narrow step width. And by just simply increasing your step width, width very slightly, again, these really simple tips can improve your running gait, potentially improve your performance and also reduce your in injury risk. So if you're running a marathon or other long distance ultra event this year, book in for a run fit assessment and we can also analyse your running gait as part of that.